Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Take a look here, this is the model Braun 655C, 655F-C. I didn't need to replace the whole fan, it was squeaking pretty good. It sounded like some bearings were bad. Really bad squealing sound. House was built in the late 60s, so I figured it needed to be replaced. So I went on Amazon and just got the housing, uh, the guts for it. So the housing I didn't need, otherwise I'd have to go in the attic and take it all out. I didn't need to do that, so I just needed the guts for it, which is just the fan here. There's a plug right here, so you're going to want to unplug that, replug it in, and there's only one screw holding this housing fan up, which is this little flathead screwdriver, screw right here, I'm sorry. This long screw here is what holds the unit together, which is right here. So this is how it's going to look, something like this. It's going to go through one of these holes here, and then you're going to tighten it with a screw I'll show you here in a second. Which is right here pretty small screw so that just stays on the end of this it holds everything up together next part is the heater fan here there's two holes right here one on each side you're gonna need a long flathead screwdriver to access this screw and this screw there's also this these little metal parts one here one here little tiny little rods it's gonna rest on this little uh, housing here it's gonna swing down. So once you unplug this heater fan with that red plug there, you'll be able to swing it down, access it, change it. It's just those screws. So these two screws, this will swing down, and then this screw. Those are the only screws that you need, I and mean, then you have to replug everything in. This blue, this blue wire is for the fan. This white's for the the light switch on the cover, and then the red one up there. So. About 100 and some bucks, I think 120 bucks for everything on Amazon. You want to make sure you take a picture of everything so you have the assembly correct so you don't screw anything up. This was the trickiest part to try to make sure you get this in correctly. Uh, this is how it looks. There's your plug, so the white plug, of course, can go with the white plug there. And then to, to pull it back together, you're going to find this, the hole, that long screw right there, and feed it through the Feed it through one of those holes here and then use that screw once you've uh, oh, it's tightened everything together. So that's how that works. And then you're gonna put the bulb in and then the plastic piece where my two fingers are. And then that's it. And then you turn it on and it works good. So that's pretty much how you do it. Pretty easy DIY, simple, took about 10 minutes or so. quality parts. They're factory parts from Braun. So thanks for liking. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more quick, simple, easy DIYs. Thanks guys.